In my last video, I showed you guys 5 classic Next Raker life hacks and you guys asked for more, so here are 10 more life hacks that will totally make your holiday experience a whole lot easier, cheaper, and more delicious. Before we get started with these though, give this video a like so I know you guys like these videos and I can make more of these videos for you guys. Also, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet with all notifications turned on. I don't want you guys missing out on my future videos. Let's get started with these life hacks. Check it out. And this is for you people out there that go out and buy everything you guys need to wrap up your gifts. But let's say you forgot to buy ribbon because it happened to me once where I wanted to wrap this very special gift and I did not have any ribbon to wrap around this gift. As you can see, I already have one right here. But let's say you do have a bow and look at this bow right here. The only thing holding it together on the bottom is a staple. So we're gonna turn this bow into some really nice ribbon that will make the gift a bit nicer. So all you gotta do is undo the staple on the bottom. And once you're able to do that, then be careful guys. Once you do that, everything should become loose. And look at this. You got a whole bunch of ribbon right here. A whole lot of it actually, look at that. And enough for like five or six gifts. It's pretty long guys. I don't know if you guys ever undid a bow, but they are pretty long. As you can see, this one's really shiny. And let's say you're trying to impress a girl or a boy. Well, you want to make this gift a lot, lot nicer than the rest of your other gifts. So you're going to wrap some ribbon around this gift. And I'm telling you guys, it's better than nothing. So if you don't have any ribbon, you can resort to using a bow. You pretty much just hold it in place with some tape. And I don't know how you guys wrap your ribbon, but me, I usually corner it. I mean, the cross is pretty much close to the corner. You guys can pretty much make any design. Okay, so this is what it should look like now. As you can see, the ribbon makes it stand out more. And that special person you're trying to give this gift to will be very impressed by your creativity. And you just put a bow on top and you got yourself an awesome looking gift. Now let's say it's Christmas Eve, you're wrapping up gifts, pretty much finishing up, and then you run into a, this gift that you forgot you had. This is a jersey right here, this is clothing, and usually you put these in a gift box, but let's say you don't have any gift boxes anymore because you totally forgot about this gift, and now you don't know what to do. Well, I'm gonna show you a really clever idea that you guys can do, and it will look super nice when you guys do this. So here I got my jersey, of course, the Cardinals. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in a box, but I don't wanna put it in just any box. There are so many boxes in your house that you guys can use. Since it's Christmas, you want everything to look nice. So what I suggest you guys do is this. Get a cereal box, and this is my favorite cereal. So pretty much take out the bag inside, because you're gonna need the box. And no guys, we're not gonna take this jersey and put it inside this box and slap a bow on it. No, that's so uncreative. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this little Reese's Puffs, everything. We don't want any color on it for now. What we're gonna do first, guys, is we're gonna undo the whole box. So separate the bottom flaps, make sure they detach, but carefully though, you do not wanna tear off those flaps because they are essential to this. So do this gently, guys. I mean, I know it might be a little bit time consuming, but it's definitely worth it. Actually, it's not that time consuming. If you're careful and you know what you're doing, then it's not gonna take too long. So as you can see, I flattened out this box and now I'm gonna look for that corner. This is the corner we're gonna detach. Well, again, carefully guys, work your magic and pretty much separate these two ends. So now the box should look like this. And notice the difference, this, you can tell it's a box of cereal, but you flip it over and you got yourself a brown plain box that you can work with. And now we're gonna put it back together, but inside out pretty much. So what was outside is now inside and what was inside is now outside. So I'm just gonna use some tape guys and I'm gonna put everything back together. Now we're gonna close up the flaps. All right guys, so here's the box. As you can see, it's a plain brown box. This one actually looks like it's a gift box. So now you take your present, and in this case, we're using a Cardinals jersey as an example, and I'm gonna stick it inside the box. Make sure it's still nice and folded. Once I put it in there, guys, it's time to close up the box, and you're gonna close up the rest of the flaps. So here's the finished product. Well, not finished yet, but this is what we've done so far. 
as I mentioned, it's just a plain brown box now. It's not a cereal box anymore. It looks very nice, but it's not Christmassy enough. Now, at this point, you have a, a few options. You can either wrap this up with gift wrap, but let's say you don't have any either, then you know, just give it to them like that. Or we could use the hack that I showed you earlier where we're gonna undo this bow. But if you have some ribbon, then use ribbon, but I like using this hack. So we're gonna undo the bow again. This is how the box should look now, guys. As you can see, it's got ribbon surrounding it. The last thing, of course, is always to put the bow on and maybe a label sticker so that that family member knows that this is their box. So you put the bow on the box and now you have yourself a cool looking present for Christmas. Very creative, huh? And all you needed was a cereal box. So here are two gifts. Do you guys see anything weird about them? Is there something missing? Yes, there is some tags so people will know that it's their gift. Now you can go and get yourself some gift tags or gift labels, which are pretty much stickers that you can stick on the actual present and then you write the name of the person who this gift belongs to. But you know, there's a cheaper, easier way to do this. And all you gotta do, instead of going to the store and buying this and spending $2 or $3 on it, you can print these out on your printer and then just cut them up, guys. It's as simple as that. If you have a printer at home, you got extra ink and you got enough paper, then you definitely want to print these out. So once you print it out, your gift tags, you're going to cut them out. Using my trusty scissors, I'm going to cut out this gift tag right here. So I'm going to trim it, make it look nice. This is a very creative way of saving some money, guys. So here's a gift tag. Next, what you guys want to do is put it anywhere on the gift box. So I'm going to put it right here. And next, I'm going to write the name of the person who I'm giving this gift to. So this gift is going to the homie, Sin Fatal. And of course, it's for me. Next. Now, once I got that written down, I'm going to take a strip of clear tape. And I'm going to cover that gift tag with it. Just like that, guys. It's secured on and now Sin Fatal will know that this gift belongs to him and that it was from me. So you do that to all your gifts and you'll save a couple bucks which you can use to buy more gifts. Hopefully. If you guys are going to give somebody clothing but you don't have a gift box. For example right here I have a shirt but I don't have a gift box. Well an alternative to do this and to make it look nice is to fold it up. I'm going to fold it up. Alright perfect. So I'm gonna take this shirt and I'm gonna put it in a cake pan. Yeah, these work great guys. So I got a two right here, we're gonna need two. I'm gonna put the shirt inside, tuck it in very well. So one piece of tape on each side. And look at that guys, you got yourself an awesome gift box. Now these cake pans were 88 cents, so I don't spend much on them. You guys can make it look more Christmassy with ribbon or just slap a bow on top and you're good to go. I'm gonna do the same with these pie trays. Right here I have some beets which I'm gonna give to somebody. They're used but they're still good. So I'm gonna put them inside and put the other pan on top to cover it. And then of course I'm gonna secure it on with some tape. Look at those gifts. Nice little gifts you can give to anybody and they do look Christmassy. If you have multiple rolls, of wrapping paper well try to get a different color paper and then cut a long strip of it because we're gonna use this as ribbon and here's our big old long strip of wrapping paper which we're gonna wrap around our gift like this we're gonna cut the remainder and tape it down <laughs> look at that we got ourselves some ribbon and then we're gonna do one across just like this. Perfect. Look at that nice gift that you guys have. And you guys put ribbon on it without actually putting real ribbon on it. What I have right here is a Christmas gift that I'm about to give out to one of my family members, but I don't have any bows to put on top. Yep, I'm missing a bow. So what can you guys do? Well, first put the ribbon on the present. Try to make it look nice. And then guys, instead of putting a traditional bow on top, why not get creative and stick a fidget spinner on there? Like this. See? Look how beautiful that looks. Now the way I'm going to attach this fidget spinner on is by getting a piece of tape, folding it so it's sticky on both sides, and then I'll just place it on the center, 
and then place a fidget spinner on top of that and that's it look at that even when you give that special someone this present you can spin it and give it to them it's very creative it's a nice way to stand out from the rest Another way a fidget spinner can save Christmas is let's say your Christmas tree doesn't have any lights. Well, you can use a light up fidget spinner and just pretty much use this as an ornament. Let me show you. First, you're going to take your fidget spinner and you're going to turn on all the lights. They all have a little switch that turns on the light. Then you take a paper clip, undo just one end so you can hook it on the fidget spinner through underneath one of the caps and then you can extend the paper clip and have a little hook that you can attach onto your tree like this. So let me show you with a bunch of fidget spinners how this is going to look on my tree. There's my tree back there, but it doesn't have any lights. It doesn't light up anymore. But like I said, we can use a light up fidget spinner for that. All we got to do is turn it on and hang it up there with the paper clip we attached on there. Look at that. Right here will do. And I'm going to turn on the rest of the fidget spinners so that they light up this tree. <laughs> There's my tree with the fidget spinners lighting it up. What do you guys think, pranksters? These fidget spinners were about 50 cents, so I didn't spend much on this, and they will definitely save that Christmas tree. <laughs> that is amazing. Thumbs up for my tree, guys. We're gonna make some little Oreo snowman. Here I have my Oreos ready. I'm just gonna open them up. And it's so simple, guys. If you wanna get creative and you wanna have little snacks for your guests at your next, Christmas party, then you can make these. Then you can set up your Oreos like this. All you guys gotta do is take your Oreo and open it. Just like that. You're gonna need three of these. There's another one and another one. Because there's three parts to our snowman. See? Now we can decorate him. And for that I'm gonna be using some nerds. Because these are little candies that you guys can put on as eyes, for example. Place the little nerds on there and start decorating it. We just created its face. And now we're gonna put some buttons on them. See guys, you guys can get creative with your snowman. This is one of my favorite ones because it's easy and it's portable. So basically we're gonna need three giant marshmallows like these. We're gonna use a circular part facing us. So it's gonna be like this. All three attached together and as you guys can see it looks like a snowman already. We're gonna keep them in place with a little skewer. So we're gonna put it through. So it's gonna go all through the to the very top. Just like that. Make sure it's centered and right down the middle. And it should stick out at the top as well. Look at that. That is perfect, guys. I'm gonna get very basic with my snowman. I'm gonna use MM's minis to decorate it. So some of them will be the eyes, nose, and mouth. I'm gonna leave them without a mouth, and I'm gonna do little buttons right here. I am gonna give them some pretzel arms. So I'm gonna stick these through the side, the middle of its body like that this one's gonna be waving so something like that see guys and we're not done yet we're gonna make a little hat for him and that's gonna be our Reese's cup and we're just gonna insert it right there there it is guys a little snowman on a stick Looks delicious, right? Well, it is. Try it out. It's awesome for Christmas. You can give these out as treats for Christmas. You can even put this in your microwave, but the chocolate will melt instantly. But remove the chocolate prior. You will expand it if you put this in the microwave. What I have right here are a bunch of Rice Krispie squares. Well, we're gonna mold these into little balls to create our snowman. We're pretty much gonna mash a couple together. So get two of those like this, and you guys are gonna have to use your super strength to mash these together and create a ball. You guys can add more ingredients to these, but you don't have to. Like you can add marshmallow cream or anything else, but this will do. There's one right there. Then we're going to make another one. Just like that. Usually the smaller ball will be the head. You can always make your rice treats from scratch, but I decided it was easier to just go buy them. It worked out for me. It was only two bucks. So there's three balls here, guys. Now we have ourselves a snowman. We're gonna keep them together with a skewer. So put it through the bottom, right down the middle, on the center, all the way till it gets to the head. So it should come out through the top of the head like this. That works for me. 
There's a giant snowman. Now we can decorate it. We'll be using M&M's Minis for this. Make sure you push them in tight and that they're not so loose. There it is, guys. It's hat. It's gonna be an Oreo, so we're gonna put one right through the middle, right down the center. And drill it in there, guys. That works. And then we're gonna put a recess on top. Perfect. Look at that nice looking snowman right there. You guys can always make him look better with chocolate syrup, anything you want, anything that is edible. I'm thinking I'm gonna put a scarf on him. <laughs> look at that. He's ready to go outside now. And those were 10 simple life hacks that might save Christmas for you this holiday season. If you like this type of content, don't forget that I have lots more at my channel, youtube.com slash nextraker. Check it out, and while you're there, please subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, pranksters. I wish everybody nothing but the best for the holidays. I'll see you guys in my next video.